The Bucks are 60 minutes to the Super Bowl, and so are we. Our NFC Championship Preview Special continues. Well, there has certainly been plenty of talk about the mental aspect of this game. The Eagles and their fans are counting on the Bucks, being psyched out before this game even begins. And that is where John Gruden comes in, a master motivator. He comes up with different themes each week to fire up his team. There have been some good ones this year. Now, Chris Binder works in our production department, and he has put together videos for special teams coach Richard Bisaccia all season long. And right now, you get a sneak peek at the motivational video the Bucks will see tonight at their team hotel. Check it out. Now I'm asking myself when, when, oh Lord, it's going to be our time. Time's coming when we're going to have to ante up. Ante up and kick in like men. Like men! Goosebumps, my hands are sweaty. <laughs> Can you see this? This is unbelievable. Roy Cummings of the Tampa Tribune joins us, the uh, professor of prognostication. How'd you like that? <laughs> I'll tell you, it's got me fired up. I think the boys are ready. I'm going to write a heck of a story on Sunday. All right, <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about this break. What, this is the football segment. We're really going to get into it here. And uh, as some of the keys to the game that I really see here, number one, protecting Brad Johnson, beating the blitz. And that, that doesn't just mean the offensive line. That means the, the receivers, the yeah. backs, and everybody. And also special teams. Brian Mitchell, the return man, really did a number on the Bucks. Field position is going to be so huge in this game. Let's talk a little bit about Brian Mitchell and, and his special teams. Well, he had a 47-yard return on these guys uh, earlier in the year, and that was a big play. You know, this guy always seems to do something that uh, that, that hurts the, the opposition. One thing that he's very good at, he gives the Eagles a short field. You can't do that. The, the Bucks have to avoid giving up a short field to Donovan McNabb. The further they've got him back, the more they're going to be able to dictate what they do defensively. The further up they get the ball, if they get at the 30, the 40, the 45, it's going to be Donovan McNabb deciding what happens in this game. You don't want that. And let's face it, the Bucks uh, coverage units have been a 
deplorable. Uh, I'd say adequate. Yeah. <laughs> that might be the best word for them. Uh, uh, they've really, uh, you know, they have not been, been solid this year, and they've got to play very well against uh, Brian Mitchell. All right, the other thing you got to worry about is uh, Joe Jurabicius. He missed practice today, third straight day. He's dealing with a, a very unfortunate situation. His wife gave birth prematurely. There are some medical complications here. Brad told me today that Joe will play and will play well. He's confident that he's got the game plan. What's your take on this? Well, I don't think they're really sure yet just what's going to happen. Uh, apparently, the next 24 hours are very crucial for not only the child and, and uh, obviously prayers and thoughts go out there, yeah, but uh, but also, you know, in, in essence, Joe. And, and I think uh, what, you know, what we're going to see is possibly him go down to uh, or go up to uh, Philadelphia tomorrow sometime, uh, hopefully meet the team in time for the game. They may even push it to Sunday if they have to. Um, I think he may play um, how much he, how effective he is. That's another issue. Let's face it. This is a, this is something that's really weighing on his mind, weighing on the whole team's mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, obviously, the family comes first here in this situation. And football is totally trivial when you're talking about something like this, but. Joe Jervicius is an intricate part of this offense, especially lately. The touchdown against the 49ers, Keyshawn wasn't on the field. And we right. talked a bit so about this on Sunday Sports Extra. I heard Ron Jaworski talk about it tonight. Uh, Keyshawn wasn't there. McCardell, they went to Jervicius for yeah. that matchup in the red zone. Exactly. He, he's become a very key player in this offense the last uh, month and a half. He's really played well. He's really stepped up. Uh, you know, I think he's been one of their best receivers uh, the last month, and, and they've got to have him. Uh, he, if they don't have him, you know, suddenly you don't have those big receivers to yep. go against those big defensive backs that the Eagles have. That, it's going to be a tough matchup with those guys. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've got Carl Williams, Reggie Barlow going out there, uh, with all due respect, I don't think you're, you're going to be as effective. All right, Martin Gramatica, we're hearing he has a tired leg. You're telling me they worked out some kickers this week. Yep. What is the situation there? Well, they brought in two kickers yesterday. Now, the Bucks are telling us that uh, this is what they normally do. They w would have brought him in Tuesday, but everybody was at the Senior Bowl. I'm not buying that. Martin Gramatica had a tired leg last year. He had, a, he, he had a, a groin problem two weeks ago. He skipped the bye week workouts. Uh, I think there's a, there's a chance that if, and if it doesn't happen this week, maybe it happens next week. They sign one of these guys maybe to the practice squad. Maybe they keep him as a kickoff specialist and, and activate him. Maybe they just have him kick, do some kicking uh, in practice to give uh, Martine a break. Maybe next year they're going to do this. Uh, but I, this is two years in a row now that Martine's gone mm -hmm. to the end of the season, a little, bit, a little bit of a tire leg, groin problems. I think they've got to address this and maybe look into adding uh, an extra kicker to do kickoffs. And if it comes down to the kick, and a lot of people think it will, yeah. That's something to consider. Roy, thanks so much for coming sure in. Thing. We appreciate your excellent analysis there. All right, Eagles fans have a reputation of being pretty nasty. Have you heard this? <laughs> but is it worth all the hype? Up next, Bob Hyde goes in search of these nasty fans to see if it's fact or fiction. That and much more still ahead on this News Channel 8 Sports Special 60 Minutes to the Super Bowl.